I will show you how the optics really affects uh, the lead, the floodlights, uh, the facade lighting. Let me go to RR, surface mounted, linear. Okay, this is one of our flood, uh, linear flood. See, uh, you can see that there is 32 degrees, asymmetric 12 degrees and 32. So let's go for the 32 and see how it looks. Show me the photometric. Okay, this is 32. Ah, sorry, this is 12 degrees. Just imagine that this is, because this is a linear flood, uh, the, the luminar is, uh, is not on the uh, front position but on the side position. And you can see the throw of light here. Anyways, later I will show it to you in our actual installation. Ah, okay. Maybe you can see, I can show it to you here. But let me continue that one because this is 12 degrees. And let's go for the 32. And you can see the 32 is a little wider. Yeah, so it's a little wider. And if it's asymmetric, for example, it has something like, yeah, so it has two, two lights at, because of the optic. It has two sources of light. And the asymmetric is good for, not really for wall washing, but, uh, yeah, good for wall washing, but it should be as, uh, offset from the wall, not close to the wall. So, so yeah, you can see the different op optics on a different luminaire. And using a different optics um, is very important because, I'm uh, sorry, knowing the different optics is very important because you need to know which one is giving the correct illumination. Uh, 12 to 44 degrees. If you want that here, you can see here, for example, let's open it. Yeah, so you can see that the 12 by 44 degrees is like this. So it's, it means it's not only putting light on the linear, but also uh, I'm going to select now this uh, 12 degrees, and I will use it in my design. Press the dialog, and then it will download, and you will say save. Then just click it here at the bottom, and now it will go directly to your here. Now it's here. So what I'm going to do is I will replace this one with the 12 degrees. Click the luminaire first and then replace selected luminaire. And then select the fitting that you choose and then press apply. And then say OK. Now it's pointing downward and it's too big. I think I selected a long one. Let's place it 180 degrees. OK, this fitting is too long. Can we use the 930 mm only? Okay, press the dialog, and then it will save, and at the bottom, you will press this one, and then you're going to use it now in your dialog, Evo. See, now this is 132 mm, so let's change this one. Replace selected luminaire, and then select this one, and then apply. Okay, I think this is fine. Okay, go to the top view and make sure. See, this is all. There's also limitation on the spacing on the window. So if your floodlights or your luminaire is too big, the client will reject it because it's too huge. It will it will not fit on the edge of the on the edge of the window. So I have this one 14 by 12 degrees, and then this one is so narrow beam. And then, for example, let's use this one with a little wide beam. So let's select the 32 degrees, 90, 930mm, 32 degrees. Okay, there's also blue, red, and green, and w, uh, RGBW. So I will choose only warm white. And then, now it's here. So let's go and replace this one with the uh, 32 degrees. This is 32, okay. And then apply. Then say yes. Now you have to make sure that it's pointing upward. So type 180 degrees. And you also have to make sure that it's inside, inside the channel of the window. Now it's there. So okay, you can see now I will just rerun the calculation. So what I have here now is three optics. This one is um, 
12 by 14, and this one is a narrow beam, and this one is a 32 degree beam or 32 degree optic. So, Gio, look at this one. I will run a calculation now and see how the effect of the light on the windows. This is just a simple uh, calculation com uh, comparison because uh, like what I mentioned to you uh, while we're waiting for the result, the client wants to see the real effect in the actual situation. So that's why, uh, see the, the companies here, they invited lots of um, manufacturers or suppliers to provide the correct uh, lighting effect for their project because this is a government project and yeah, they want to make sure that in actual it will be looking good. Yeah. So yeah, that's why they created this mock-up. See, not only not only linear flood, they also uh, try some of our floodlights and some of the floodlights of the competitor. And this is the design that uh, they agreed, and they want to check if we really can. Um, achieve this one in the actual actual situation. Okay, let's go and open the pseudo color and I will show you how it looks. See uh, on the on the rendering like this one, you cannot really check the difference because all the walls are bright, they are looking good, looking good, uh, looking amazing. And in one shot you you can uh, you can even say that these are only one luminaire or only one fitting, only one type of fitting. But if you go and check in the pseudo color, so go to the uh, upper right side of your screen and check this one. Now you can see that the effect of the other luminaires are so different from the other one because see this one is, this one is the 12 by 44 uh, optic and you see it's a little round. And I'm sure there will be spill light from uh, going to the outside also because this is, uh, it has different degree. So it's a little, uh, curve here and this one is the narrow beam if you can see here now um, look at the fitting as only this is not only one source of light because there are so many LEDs here there will be LEDs also here here here, here on the side it only shows only one LED but actually it has so many LEDs in this linear flood but the photo photometric only shows one LED and this one is a little round again, similar to, yeah, it's almost similar to this one, 32 degrees. But you can see here that the 32, uh, sorry, the 14 by 12, 44 by 12 is like with a sharp edge here compared to the 32 that is only a triangle on the top. Let's do it again. See here. And this one is, yeah, okay, 44 degrees. Ah, okay, this is wider. This and it's only 32 degrees. So you can see here now by uh, by evaluating in the pseudo color because um, um, some of the clients will say that okay, this looks good. It's it looks even and uniform. But can I see the pseudo color? And if you show it to the to the client the pseudo color, then it will immediately immediately tell you if the luminaire is really a good solution or not because you can see there's a uh, um, what's this strong light at the bottom you can see this is red it's 2000 lux and it's only here on the top which is uh, this is 44 lux so it means the light is only focusing on the bottom and it's not reaching too much on the top and it's, it's not a good in my opinion me as a lighting designer I would prefer the narrow beam yeah, see, you can see here, this is a, almost an even illumination compared to the two. Because the intention of the client is to have really a wall wash, a uniform wall washing. And the narrow beam is the perfect solution. See, there will be no dark spots here. Here in this upper part, there is dark spots. Here also there, there, there is dark spots. But in this narrow beam, it's all very good, like totally even illumination. You can see in the when you take a closer look, no, see this part is dark. Well, this one is almost perfect. This one is totally. You can see the gradient, and uh, so I can say this: the the narrow the narrow beam is the perfect one. But why the clients prefer to to you to choose this one? Because this is the proof fitting. Because 
this is so slim. See, the size of the fitting is so slim. That's why the client says, okay, I I will choose this one. Because our this uh, satin is not so slim. That's why it has been rejected. But if you can see, if you're, talk, if you're going to talk only on the optics or the uh, effect of the light, then the narrow beam will, will win. This is the image of the project. This is a rendered image from the, the architect. It's not the actual one. So it looks like this. And then this is our lighting calculation proposal. And it, is, it has been approved. So um, I build the building. You can imagine, you, you will say that, oh my god, this is time consuming to create the building. But no, I will teach you how to do it today. It's, it's not that really time consuming because it's easy. It's, it's only extrusion volume technique, no other techniques aside, aside from extrusion volume.